Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. I thought I'd uh, finish up and uh, show you how to finish up making the, the loincloth, tying up the cock bag to the, uh, to the front loincloth and uh, tying the butt floss up to the back with uh, just a little bit of lace. Um, first off, I need to refresh everybody on uh, the stuff that we did and the reason why. Now this is the basic shape of the cock bag here okay now this is about from the center point here down to about the butt floss is about the length of my thumb and forefinger now that can vary depending on the size of the person obviously and you can judge that well you know how to judge that and the reason why we did this basic shape and remember I stressed it was important that we have this 90 degree angle here. The reason why we want that 90 degree angle here is so that when we put it here in the front that we can adjust the tension that it is down here. The more that we can adjust the tension is down here the better cupping action that we can have. We want cupping action. And as I said earlier um, if you need this to be larger at all, you can sew in a dart inside here. It looks kind of like a, uh, a football, and you can kind of visualize that. If you're artistic enough to make a freaking loincloth, you can visualize it. Now, back to the point of the loincloth. I have two pieces here. This is going to be the front piece here. And you see it's got a nice little doohickey there in the front. I like to use I like to use the shoulders and stuff for that area. They got nice they're just better pieces. Um you got that little piece there in the front and this little piece here uh for the back. I've uh already as you can see I've cut the holes up here in the top I've stamped the holes you can see them right there and up on the top and the reason why I did that so when we fold it over we have a little pocket here where we can slide our belt through using the same four strand braiding technique that I told you with the butt floss just make it really long. Now, what I've done is I've put four holes through here, um, and I've tied the back here. So when we sew the butt floss to the front flap, we know what the hell we're doing. As you can see, I've already punched the holes for that as well. Along there and along the top. Now, the way that we figure out how, where the center is at, because that's basically all we need to know is where the center is at. Because where the center is, the center is, the center is, the center. Fold it in half. And remember, we want that cupping action. And we know that with their handy dandy uh, hole punch here, it's same width across. Snazzy, huh? So, all we have to do is fold it in half, punch it once, and then sew it on. We're ready to go. Now remember, we want to have that little, that V action going on, so we can have proper cupping up in here. So, being as we know we need that, then we just do it. Ain't no question who, what, where, when, why, how. Measuring distance, you fold it in half. You bring it down here. 
and you end up losing your hammer. And I'll get like a spare hammer. We want it down in the middle, up on the sides. Run it up to the center point. Punch our holes in, and we're ready to go. Now we just sew these to those holes, run this up to the little doohickey on the back flop. And I'll put this together and I'll show you what it looks like.